Hello all you beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. I am Catastrophe. Thank you for joining me again. Today I have something very special to show you. I have been busy, 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 busy and um, I have created something very special I want to show with you folks. Of course I also have a couple tips and tricks I want to show you but aside from that I finally have my base done. I am not helping a bunch of people this time. I finally got my base done and I've worked my patootie off for the last four days. That's what I've been doing. So sorry about that. But before we get started and before it becomes night, I want to get a more serious topic out of the way because it has something to do with this video in particular. So I was debating um, making my server known to the public so that you guys can come here and check out my base in person and um, say hi or what have you. However, after thinking about it, I had a second thought. And one of those reasons is what I want to bring up. And it has to do with bullying. So um, I noticed that people are throwing the word troll around in place of bullying or harassing. In all honesty, if you are aggressively pursuing somebody to torment them and harass them, you are not trolling them. You are flat out bullying them. And the reason why I bring up this topic is because I am a victim of bullying. I have been my whole life and it didn't stop when I became a mother and it didn't stop when I became a wife and it certainly didn't stop when I became an adult or a YouTuber. It goes on and on. And the bullying can be quite aggressive and very tormenting. And I just want some of the viewers to know if you are a bully or if you know somebody that's a bully or even if the bullies themselves are watching right now, there's, it's a horrible thing that what you're doing. I mean, think about this. The repercussions are if you are bullying or aggressively attacking somebody who has mental problems or is not stable or already is experiencing bullying from other people, you're just confounding the situation and you're making things worse. Um, I personally suffer from PTSD, depression and anxiety and I have my entire life. And when I get attacked very aggressively, it affects me in a negative way. And, and, and when I say a negative way, I mean, people have attempted to get me to commit suicide and stuff. And I know it's a very serious subject to have at the beginning of my video, but it's something that shouldn't be a secret. And it's something that people should know about. It's not funny. It's not a joke. Somebody's life is literally in your hands. And I think that people need to take that to heart and really think about what they say and what they do when they are pursuing somebody. I'm not talking about the average just trolling in the game. I'm talking about when you target them and you go from A to B to C and it's just it's just over and over in repetition. That is bullying straight up and it needs to stop. Teenagers can't handle it. Young people can't handle it and people with mental disorders can't handle it and it's inappropriate and wrong and um so I decided not to make my um, base public or known because of the whole bullying situation that goes on. Uh, I got people aggressively chasing me. And although I really, really want to share what I do with my viewers, there's a huge percent of you that totally deserve this. And I acknowledge that. But for my own mindset, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. However, with that said, I could potentially change my mind. If you guys see this video and you start popping your comments down there and you let me know how you feel and this is something that you would like to see in person and after you see it, you may decide you want to. Say so. Make me feel the love. Tell me how you feel about it. If I, if I read a lot of comments saying that you guys are interested in seeing it, I promise you I will make it public and I will put up with whatever comes my way. And, um, but I will only do it for a short duration. Um, after the, um, after say Friday, I'm going to lock the doors and it won't be public for people to come in anymore. But, um, let me know how you feel. Okay. I'll pop that in one more time before I go ahead and close this video out. But that's how it goes. Without further ado, let's see my base. Okay. So here we go. You guys. I'm super excited. I work so hard. My bow keeps disappearing, but, uh, but yes, so this 
base I have been working on for four days. So all the other videos that you guys, my eyes bother me, all the other videos that you guys saw me um, filming at weren't my bases. Uh, the first base is my friends, and they let me use it for crafting all my resources and making videos. The second one was a viewer that requested my assistance. Ooh, I got to blur out. That requested my assistance, and I agreed to do it because I love my viewers. And finally, me. Me. So, this is my base, and I absolutely love it. So, each tower in my base looks like, oh, sorry. I swear I got something gooky in my eye. Give me a second. I don't know what it is. Okay. So, each tower on the corner of my base all look identical. So, I don't need to show you every single one. I'm just going to show you one. I wish I wasn't capped on, um, I'm capped on, um, what's this stuff called? I'm capped on this. Shutfish. Shutfish emoji. Yeah, so I can't put a whole lot more. I'm reserving that for maybe some more lighting. So each tower gets off at the second floor. It's completely unnecessary to have these doors because you could go boop, 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 boop. But hell, why not, right? <laughs> so um, this roundabout that goes around my base actually goes 100% all the way around it. So that's totally cool. And then we come up here and we got the third floor. La. And then the third floor, once again, goes all the way around it. Look how beautiful and sexy this is. This makes me feel so toasty looking at it. Mwah! So, yeah. This right here is that balcony I showed you guys. Do you remember um, um, two episodes ago, I showed you how to extend out your um, base beyond? Uh, here, let me jump down here. Uh, 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 I'm challenged. Okay, remember how I showed you to extend it over the cement right here and then do the sandbags? This is this is it right here. Now these are great you guys because these don't count towards um they don't count towards um decoration and they don't count towards um architecture. So these are defenses and these are like it's like completely free stuff. Oh, we like free. Yeah, and then we got these. Keep out. And then we come over here. Those actually say that at every single airlock. So these are my garage airlocks. This is how I get in. Oh, by the way, you can, you can, oh, you just saw me do that. <laughs> so um, these are actually airlocks that lead to the outside of the base. There's four of them going all the way around. And I made it so that my garage doors line up perfectly all the way around. So no matter which side you come in at, you have a straight shot into the actual, the protected part of your base. So these, okay, so I know you guys are going to start laughing because I, I think the majority of my viewers are males, but I know there's some females out there. Give me some love. This is my garden, and I don't mean like garden, like farming garden. I mean like, um, like a planter, like a planter box. Like I like flowers and plants, and I garden in real life, and so I thought I would make a little garden box. So these are not to be harvested. These are my plants because all we have is corn and wheat. So this is my little plants. That's all they are. They're like, if I could plant trees just for the aesthetics reason, I would do trees. And then um, I want to show you up inside these. So I got these cute little balconies, right? And each one, as you notice, there's four going all the way around my base. Each one leads up here. And once again, you continue around the base or you can move to the third story. I love these. I just love these. I feel like, I feel like if this was PVP, I could ambush people. I could like peekaboo, 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 like all over the place. Ooh, that looked weird. Mm. Why can't my hair stay? Ooh, ooh, okay. So back to what we're doing. So we're gonna go in here. I can't wait to show you guys. Okay, so, ah, I'm stuck in the door. I'm stuck in the door still. Let me go, motherfucker. Okay, so first off, here's um where I keep all of my car parts. La la, la la, la la. Okay, car parts, my car. And then up here, I, I put this here temporarily, but daybreak, get rid of these. They're ugly. Make something different. Like maybe make one of those, what do you guys call them? The things that go upside down on the water cooler. What are they like? 40, I don't know. Five gallons. I don't know how big those things are. But the things you put upside down on the water cooler. Could we get something smaller? Not this big blue tacky 
fucking thing that nobody wants to look at. This thing is ugly. I'd rather drink from a dirty river than have that ugly fucking thing in my base. Okay, so now on the lovely things. We got the annoying beehives. And we got my beautiful chandeliers. And then if we go up here, we got my second story. And we got the no vacancy. I know I got a lot of weird stuff going on. We'll get to that. This also goes all the way around. Because I got a thing for going around and around and around. I don't know. I just, I like balconies. And then we got the back door. This is the back door. And this is where it gets fun, you guys. Check it out. So we got my crafting. Did you guys know you could do this? Did you know you could? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Did you know there's no limits? I literally was stacking tables. You can stack them for infinity. For infinity. If you guys are thinking that you want to make some crazy staircase to heaven on your base, the answer is all, yes! Let's hit that sky box. Boop, boop. Okay. So, yeah. So, there you go. This right here is... Um, my tool area you got your hammers you got your things you got your things you got your things you get it tools tools okay tools and then over here we got my weapon stuff and then you got you know like crafting stuff and you got all my grenades we don't need to look into every crate but you got this is my grenade area this is my weapon area check it out oh my god have you seen anything so fucking sexy oh my god I love this, you guys. Ooh, this is so sexy. Oh, I'm so serious. This looks like the buffet in a candy store or something. I love it. I love it. So these are all my weapons. I haven't organized them, but the weapons are over here. And this, you know, it'll have all shotguns, all blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, this is my cooking area. And I'm kind of a stickler for having drink on one side of my base and food on the other. This is clothing, so this is all my gear. Oh, where to get to that? So yeah, this is all my gear, and I put a, um, I put a, um, a zombie head here so that if anybody comes over and I go, oh, you know, help yourself to a gun, help yourself to ammo, help yourself to a backpack, and they go where? I go, well, the side with the zombie head has guns. Da, 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 da. You guys get it. That's how I differentiate it in case I get disoriented. And then look at what I made. I mean, there's a fa. Ooh, so cute, right? Okay, so I'm going to post a couple screenshots right here because that was us messing around on the sofa. And it's so cute. We're like lovebirds. We're holding hands. So cute, so cute, I love it. I love it. Uh, Daybreak, give us some freaking furniture. I want furniture hardcore. I want a coffee table. I want a TV. I want some nightstands. I actually, this is another thing too that you guys might do. I put two of the cots side by side and I was able to make a bed and then I used a small sandbag for the, um, for the, um, what do you call that? What is it called if one's a headboard? Footboard. <laughs> oh my God, that was a bimbo moment. Footboard. Ha. <laughs> So footboard, you guys can make a bedroom. Crazy, right? Okay, so now we're gonna get into the most uber thing that I've been holding out. Oh yeah, I hold out big time. So let me get comfy because this is exciting. Okay, you guys. Okay, this is the big coup de McGraw. I made a chessboard. Chessboard. I made a freaking chessboard, y'all. Chessboard. Okay. So I had to mix it up a little bit so that the players wouldn't get their pieces mixed up. So wolves are one side and uh, deers are the other ones. You got your pawns. You got your towers. You got your knight. You got your bishop. You got your king. And you got your queen. And here's the cool thing. It legitimately can be played, you guys. So get your friend. Not you guys, but I mean, you guys... I really want you guys to come see it in person. You guys got to give me some freaking love. Give me tons of thumbs up likes and give me lots of love. Show me you care. And I swear I will tell you what server I'm on and you can come check this base out in person. Um, so, but my friends and I, um, I put them on the friends list, of course, on the permissions. And you pick up all the pieces and you put them in a crate. And then you tell them to pick up their pieces and they place their pieces. And here's the kicker. When you're playing chess... Um, I can't pick up their pieces and they can't pick up mine even though I'm the owner of the property only the person who put it down can actually pick it back up it's perfect no 
freaking cheating. Oh, I love it. So it's legit. This is off the hook. I'm going to tell you there has been much love. This is, I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of all my hard work. I literally, I, this might actually be day five since my last video. From the time I wake to the time I've gone to bed, I have been making resources and chopping trees. I will also post a video right here of what the forests look like for four days around my friend's base because I have been pissy. So I hope you guys appreciate this base. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I don't know what else. I just love it. I love it. Oh, um, and then also down here, I'm, I get disorientated in my own base. Oh, right. To go, to go down, I have to go up. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Okay. So right here, what I was thinking about doing is putting, um, can I, can I do it and show you guys? I was thinking about doing, um, like one this way and then one this way. And then putting, what, the torch scared me. Um, and then putting um, some corn and stuff in here too. So not only does it look like a planter, but it's like right next to my stuff so I could cook it. So my nose itches. So yeah, I hope you guys like that. I worked so hard on my base. I hope that you guys can use these ideas. I hope that this has inspired somebody to do something like this. Um, I mean, why, why do we have to build a box? The, look, this is proof that you can do unique things. You, you don't have to make a box. You could do something different. I love it. But it doesn't end here. I want to show you something else. I was going to go down there, but I have a feeling they're going to come after me. Let's go stab something in the fucking face. Uh-oh. My stab is broken again. Ugh. Okay. Does that happen to you guys? Like, like at random, you can't stab or something? It like locks up your ability to do anything? I'm going to loot this, though, because I need goodies. Because, because I have a chessboard on my face. Ha-ha, <laughs> in your face. I'm bleeding. So let me, um, oh, I forgot my bandages. Ooh. Bad, yeah, bad. Must not forget the bandages. Oh, ooh, I thought that was a fucking player. Oh, my God. Oh, look at this. Okay. I don't want to distract you guys with what I'm doing, but um, I want to place something down here, and I don't want to get attacked. My stupid background keeps showing up. I'm sorry. Okay, so we got a couple seconds. Let me go ahead and do this. I want to show you guys something that you can do. You can do, and I know that you guys know you can already put a table. What? Okay, there it goes. Check it out. Now, I want you guys to try and, I don't know, think like I do. Go! No, okay, really. Look at this. Oh my God, I do that every single time with the tillers because usually it's the top thing. Check this out, you guys. What? It still counts as my property. Why does it? What the fuck? Look, I'm not on my property anymore. What? What? Does that mean I can like build way out here and nobody could destroy it? Oh, oh, the wheels are turning. But check this out, you guys. Are you guys getting what I'm showing you? Do you know what this means? This means you can table, plant, table, plant, table, plant. How about a garden wall? And yeah, you could get creative in your base. You could put stairs. I'm just curious. <laughs> it was worth a try. Hold on. Okay. So you, in your base, because you can't do it out here, you could put stairs and then you could get up to the top so that you could harvest your top garden, but you literally can make garden walls and you can do it vertical. And you're thinking, well, why in the fuck would I want to do that when I can do it on the ground? Let me tell you why. Okay, so I've, I've read the forms a lot and a lot of you are going, oh, you know, I put tillers down and now I want to change the way my base looks. How do I get rid of the tillers? Can I get rid of them? No, you can't get rid of them. They used to disappear after a while, and then, then they didn't disappear. Now they do. Now they don't. Who knows? For As far as I know, they're permanent. So if you build a garden wall and each one holds two, you can simply go like this. And now 
you can remodel. You can move it to a different area, whatever, and it's not permanent. It's not going to... So, I mean, the versatility there is awesome. That might be a mistake. I don't want to hear people yelling at Reddit, hey, you're using a glitch, you're using a bug, I'm going to report you. Go ahead, report me. It's not my fault Daybreak made such a cool feature. Now, if they didn't mean it for doing that, then they're going to change it. But, hell, man, I'm going to enjoy it while I can. So, I think that's freaking awesome. Um, also, there's another thing I was thinking about doing, and this is I thought was totally cute. And I'm only putting these out there so that you guys can do it. Because maybe there's some other ladies like me that like to, you know, garden and make it pretty. So, how about doing something like this, surrounding it with sandbags all the way around... And then you can plant your garden on there. And what it will look, it will look like a raised garden thing. So I think, excuse me, I got the burpee hiccups or something. Ah, la, 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 la. Uh, I just think that's cool. So back to the table thing, because, you know, tables, man, these have all kinds of uses. I would have thunk. I want to show you guys something. And I may have to cut the video because I don't want to waste a lot of your time with you guys watching me go all over the place. But we're going to go out for this one. Oh, and by the way, I, <laughs> oh my gosh, I also want to tell you, I've already made this video. Oh yeah, I filmed for an hour and a half, and then I went into my video editor, my Vegas Pro 14, to start editing the video, and it wasn't there. Oh yeah, uh -huh. I recorded the whole thing, got in there, and it wasn't there. Boy, was I fucking pissed. I cannot believe it. So, this is actually recording number two. One, two, two. First of all, my eyes, they're bloodshot. I have been up all night long building. And then I stayed up another hour and a half to record. Then I found out it didn't record, and now I'm doing it again. So, you guys better show your love. Better show it, because I'm working hard for you guys. So I'm going to go somewhere, and I am going to deliberately get my car stuck. You heard it here first, folks. I'm going to deliberately get my cop car stuck, and I'm going to show you why. Why is my background showing up? I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know why my background's showing up. It's like half green screen, and it's half covered with a sheet. I have, I, I don't know if it has anything to do with the lighting or if it has anything to do, oh, sorry about that. If it has anything to do with um, my air conditioner on and blowing my green screen. Driving in my car. Boop, boop, mm -mm. I like to make my green screen even more messed up. This didn't go so for well for me in take one, so I hope it goes better in take two. Do, 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 do. Uh oh. Uh oh. So when I got it stuck before, I literally couldn't unstick it. I stuck it and couldn't unstick it. So, okay. Am I stuck? I'm stuck good enough. So I'm stuck. How many times has this happened to you guys? Oh, yeah. You're driving that big boat of a truck. And you're going slow, and it's going down the mountain, and it's like, and you're like, what the fuck is your problem, truck? Then you're driving a cop car, same thing. It's a big ass El Camino, and um, sorry, I I don't want to go bald. Anyways, it's a big ass El Camino, and this shit happens to you. Now, back in the H1Z1 days, and I'm talking about way, way back for you veterans like me, where you used to be able to do something like um, well. I don't have it, but let's just say this is a furnace. You used to be able to do this with your furnace, and you can, like, because it wasn't a collision, and you could, or it was a collision, and you could pop things out. Can't do that anymore. And then you used to be able to use punjies or something in H1Z1. And then I used to use rabbit traps, and I'd stick the rabbit trap by the wheel with the door side facing it, and when it would catch me, why does it say? What the fuck? If that changes. 128 I'm gonna laugh okay that's just bizarre okay maybe that's an error anyways I used to stick the rabbit traps in there when the rabbit trap would catch me it would shove the rabbit trap underneath there and that would eject my car but now you guys should carry tables on you at all times here's why oh I should probably pop it out this way 
This didn't go so well for me earlier when I recorded. It's kind of weird that you can stick it in the car too, by the way. Actually, there's no room. I have to go around to the other side. So I'm going to try and de-wedge my car. I don't care how long this takes me. It's still a good idea because ultimately you would have no choice otherwise. Ah! Something's coming. Ah, that scared me. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I, I really don't want to deal with a lot of zombies on me right now. Let me see if I can get my car out quickly. This isn't going to fucking help me. Oh! <laughs> Let's see if it's de-wedged. No, I'm a dick. Oh, by the way, I also want to make it a point, too. If you do get something underneath your car, like I did, and you're trying to de-pop it out or whatever, don't get in your vehicle if it's intersecting with the vehicle. If you get in your vehicle when it's partially intersecting, it's nearly 100% guarantee you will blow up in your car and not have your bag. So, do not do that. Do not do that. You heard it here first, folks. I think I'm making my situation worse. Um, okay, so, continue. I think I heard my front door, and somebody's going to get stabbed if that was my front door. I hope that wasn't my front door. This is like the ultimate dilemma. Do you go see if somebody's breaking into your house and AFK and risk getting killed? Or do you not go see because you can't AFK and get killed in real life? I stay here and die in real life. Okay, cool. Pop! Oh! I think it's out, guys. And not a moment too soon. Oh, what's this? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, it's going to take me forever to find my fucking food and drink. Jesus Christ. God, he doesn't give me enough warning! What's with this you got two seconds to live bullshit? I had no idea. I mean, I don't think it should start, like, Speedy Gonzalez killing you. Like, it did not give me no time to react. God forbid I didn't have any fucking food on me. Okay, I think I'm out, you guys. Make sure there's nothing underneath there. Whoa! Fuck! Fuck you, Daybreak! That's bullshit, and that's not the first time that's happened to me. I mean, have you guys, like, totally been into something, and you're doing something, and... Okay, so what? I forgot to drink. Why are you telling me I have a heartbeat at the... It's simultaneously killing me? Like, shouldn't I hear some kind of noise or something before I die? Like, that was, like, uber fast. I had, like, maybe five seconds to live. You go from I didn't even know I was thirsty to five seconds to live. <sighs> okay, well, let's go back to the base. That almost killed me. That would have made me mad. I would have been like, I'm so mad at daybreak. You're lucky. All right, so let's take a look at this at night because it's so spectacular. And I know that we already, uh, we've already looked at it once, but let's see if we can get up here. Get up there, hot mama. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to take the cop car up here just because it's not my first time doing it either. Check out that. You guys want to see something? This is me giving it a hoo ha hoo. Yeah. Oh, you know, I don't want to mess up my green screen. Never mind. And then you do this because you don't want your car to take damage. Ah, don't kill me, car. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and pull in here. And I'm going to give my, my bye-bye video. Bye-bye. Remember that song? Am I the only one that old? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Speaking of old, guess whose birthday it is next month? 
this, girls. Yep. Yep, yep. And maybe I'll make a special video for my birthday. All right, let's have a look at the outside of the base on foot and check out what everything looks like. Whoops. In the light. In the light. All right. So let's go outside and have a good look at it from the outside and see what it looks like all lit up. Okay, here we go. There you go, the little doorways. Okay, let's get a good look at this. Look at this! Check it out! It's freaking beautiful, you guys. Mwah, mwah. Perfection. Let's take a look up here. This will get a good aerial view. Look how beautiful it is at night. Oh, man, that is freaking awesome. You know what I got to say about this? hi -ya! <laughs> Yeah, look at how beautiful it looks. Oh, my gosh. Just doesn't give it justice. Seeing it at night is, like, oh, amazing. If I could put more lights on it, I totally would. But I completely capped off my build. Sorry. Ugh. You know, I got cats. Comes with the territory. But anyways, look at this. Look at the outside on the other side. It's freaking awesome. It's so huge. It's so much work. I mean, totally awesome. Let's take a look at what it looks like on the inside at night. All right. Wow. You got your lit up little gardens. What, what? I'm on fire. It's so beautiful. Oh, and these little guys right here, they got their own little light source too. Look, how cute. You can see in the garage. Well, not the garage, the airlock. You could see in the airlock. Parts of my head keep disappearing. Boop, boop, boop. Camera no like me. Come on, let's go up in here. Let's take a look at this in here. Do, 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 do. Wow, it looks so good at night. Wow. Too bad those deer antler heads can only be put in one area. Check all this out at night. Wow, so pretty. Here, we'll go in the back door. Oh, it's hecka bright in here. Wow. I love the way it looks at night. My sofa looks all... What? What? No, I don't want to go prone. I just want to sit. Why are you crouching? There we go. Chilling on the sofa. Oh. Oh. I wonder if I could go prone. Let's see. Oh. Go prone. Come on. Oh. Good night. I'm taking a nap on my sofa. Oh. <laughs> I can't turn my camera. What? Time to show the base? Okay. Can I get up? <laughs> this is cool. Oh, let's go up and check out the chessboard. Anybody for a game of chess? Looks great at night. I wish I could add more torches, but it kind of sucks to be capped. Wow, man. I want more stories, man. I, I really want to go like five stories high. Is that too ambitious? I want to go five stories high. Yeah. I love the way this looks. I wish I could afford the red tiles, but it's kind of expensive. Shoot, I spent a hundred dollars just trying to get some of these skins. Well, I sure hope you guys like this video. Alright, well let's pull out here. And let's go say goodbye. Take a good look at the base. Bye, my beautiful base. Actually, I don't like this view. Let's go back up. Do 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 do
going on, the rocky one, the rocky sugar going Because I got a feel for you. Alright, check it out. So this is where we're going to say goodbye. Alright everybody, that ends this episode. I'd like to thank you once again for joining me. And if you haven't already, you want to smash that subscribe button. If it is red, that means that you are not subscribed. You can also ring my bell by clicking that little notification right next to the subscribe button. That will tell you each and every time I upload a new video. As I said before, if you guys want to have the space public at least until Friday, um, say so in the comments. Let me know. Show me some love. Show me some support. If I know that enough people are willing to come here and see it, I may make it public so that you guys can do so. I would love to do it, and um, I just hope it doesn't bring any of those mean people because we don't like those kind of people around here. Um, also, you want to share. Share as much as you can. If you could share this video and inspire more people to build like this, I think we can have some really cool things going on in the game instead of just a standard old box. Um, and before I go on a more serious note, I want to give a little bit of love in the direction of Miami right now as they are suffering that hurricane that is blowing through there came straight through the Caribbean um, everybody is in desperate need of help right now if you know anybody in the area that can lend a hand or you are in the area help your fellow neighbor they need all the love and support that they can get um, I really feel bad about what's going on out there I do have some friends out there and um, I want you guys to know that are out in the Miami area you are on the minds of many of us and um, I hope that you guys get all the help that you need so um, other than that thank you so much once again keep the love real you guys have a good day bye so glad that I came. wish this could last for life and maybe under these distant stars We'll find just who we are It is so strange But it feels so 